On today's iSchool, I have a true crime murder mystery. It is not often that I care and murder intersect, but today we have a true crime story that has ties to eye drops. Welcome to iSchool with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. Welcome to Saturday iSchool. I'm your host, Dr. D. Here on Saturday School, we take a look through a different lens at eye health and vision topics. Enrollment in eye school is open to the public, so hit that subscribe button below to join my pupils. All right, pupils, let's take a look. <laughs> they call her the eye drop killer. Over a three day period, she spiked her wealthy husband's water with Visine. Then she played the grieving widow for police. Is it allowable to have somebody pray over? But as he lay dying, prosecutors said his wife took his phone away so he couldn't call for help. This shocking case is featured on 48 Hours. It's odorless, it's tasteless, you drink a whole bottle, within 15 to 30 minutes you're in a coma. The killing happened at the couple's beautiful home in Lake Wiley, South Carolina. As we've been cruising along here, it, it has looked like an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> A lot of wealth. It certainly is. This one here, this is the Clayton estate. Police initially thought Stephen Clayton died of a heart attack, but his nephews were suspicious from the start. We were both of the opinion that she had a hand in his death. A coroner later found Clayton's blood contained tetrahydrosoline, a chemical ingredient used in eye drops. So this actually happened just down the road from me in Lake Wiley, South Carolina. That's a lake right on the North Carolina, South Carolina line and the location of our death by eye drop mystery. That's not much of a mystery because I just showed you what happened. <laughs> so here's the facts. Lana Sue Clayton and her husband, Stephen, lived in a $1 million house on Lake Wiley. You saw them say it looked like lifestyles of the rich and famous. Stephen was originally from South Florida and founded a company called Physical Therapy Resources. Some articles after his death called him a healthcare tycoon. He apparently loved to garden. At one time, his house in Fort Lauderdale was featured in the Sun Sentinel. We also know that he was a family man who coached wrestling. Lana Sue Clayton was a nurse in South Carolina. She did claim that Stephen was abusive to her. And really all we know is that there's a 2016 incident where she's recorded as shooting him in his head with a crossbow. In September 2018, Stephen was found dying at the foot of his stairs in the foyer of his beautiful home. At first, he was diagnosed as having had a heart attack that led to his death. However, his nephews, as you saw, were very suspicious, and indeed an autopsy did reveal high levels of tetrahydrosoline in his blood. Now, either he just has a Visine obsession or someone put it there, and I'm gonna have to go with the latter. Lana Sue then claimed she put it in his drinks over the course of three days, but she was just doing it to make him feel uncomfortable and sick and she claims that she was surprised when he actually died. However, there is the little fact that authorities say she stole his phone during that time so he couldn't call anybody for help. So let's talk tetrahydrosoline. It's a medication fairly commonly found in OTC over-the-counter products. It's a vasoconstrictor, which means that it works to shrink the blood vessels. As such, you'll see it in both nasal decongestants and get the red out eye drops. However, tetrahydrosoline is also toxic when ingested. It's clear, odorless, and tasteless, so as a poisoning agent, kind of scary. It's also not typically tested on toxicology reports, which is why many cases of poisoning initially get documented as heart attacks. A few months after Lana Sue poisoned her husband, there was a copycat killer nearby in North Carolina. Joshua Lee Hunsucker killed his wife Stacy in September 2018, following the death of Stephen Clayton. It took over a year to find her true cause of death. Her mother contacted the North Carolina Insurance Commission to report fraud after Joshua pocketed 250 grand of her life insurance payout. Luckily, Stacy was an organ donor and a vial of her blood was able to be tested during the insurance investigation. 
Tetrahydrozoline was found in large amounts and Joshua now waits trial. Thank God for her mother's intuition, organ donation, and the North Carolina Board of Insurance Investigators. Ultimately, it's important to know that this commonly used eye medication can be so harmful. If you or anyone you love ingest Visine, please know how toxic it is and get them to the emergency room immediately. If you have small children and pets, this is definitely a medication. While it seems like it's easily accessible, you can get it at any pharmacy, it's something commonly used, this is one you're going to want to keep out of arm's reach up high in a cabinet, locked away from children and pets that could get into it. That's it for Saturday School. Thanks for attending. This counts as extra credit, you little overachiever you. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up as it helps YouTube know that these videos are helpful to my subscribers, which are you one yet? I'll see you next time.